Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering a real estate photography question. And today's question is this one. How do you go about getting clients in the saturated market of real estate photography? Now, in my opinion, the real estate photography market isn't necessarily saturated uh, per se. I think it's still an up and coming photography niche that more and more people are starting to discover. But if you go into the portrait photography niche, I would call that one a lot more saturated because it's there's it seems like every other person is a portrait photographer. Now, I will say that sometimes it can be a challenge to get real estate uh, real estate agent customers because they're very loyal to who they currently use if they uh, deliver a great customer experience. I think there's opportunity um, to get customers if, if they're unpleasant with that experience or if you offer something far superior. So you gotta have uh, you know, a business offering that will give people you know, that thought that, you know what, I need to, let me give this person a shot, right? So what can you do um, for somebody to give you a shot, right? Maybe you offer up free shoots. If there's a, f uh, a potential for a, a really big um, relationship, right? So they can experience, uh, you know, the experience with you as a real estate photographer versus who they're currently using. You got to somehow stand out. You know, I don't recommend this, but you can be a lot cheaper, um, you can deliver a much better uh, experience, but I think that's harder of a sell than than somebody just saving money because a lot of real estate agents, um, you know, they'll go with the lowest price offering. And they'll also compare, you know, the quality that they're getting at that particular price point, right? Um, so at the end of the day, I think if you're offering up free shoots and stuff like that, um, or getting people to give you a shot and they're not sticking around, I would say you got to look at your customer experience. What does that experience look like? And I think that, that you know, there's got to be a hook for somebody to give you a shot, one, and then two, you have to wow them and cons be consistent with that. That's got to be your business model. Um, when they use you, that experience has to be consistent. It can't be like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to treat them one way when they first, when we're first trying to earn their business, but then when they are, they transfer their business over and they settle in, then we're going to deliver this middle tier level of service. No, you have to be, be consistent, high level. Otherwise they're just going to leave you. And then you're going to be wondering why customers aren't sticking around with you. And I think you got to look yourself in the mirror as a real estate photographer. I, you know, if you're just thinking it's hard to get business and, uh, you know, you know, there's there's activity. You you got to make more contacts with with real estate agents. Um, so I would just say, you know, it's not necessarily saturated, but you might have to contact a hundred real estate agents for one to give you a shot. But maybe there's thousands of real estate agents in your area, so you're gonna have to s just do that activity. And uh, anyways. Those are my thoughts on, let me make sure I answer the question thoroughly. Yeah, what to do about getting clients in a saturated market. It's a relationship game, hook. Anyways, I already went over it. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business, you can check out my free workshop. The link is in the description below. That's gonna do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. See you guys on the next one. <music>